This is why June 2019 General Mathematics Paper 2 and we are answering question number 3b. And the question says solve this equation involving the six that is 2 multiplied by 1 over 8 in the bracket and the bracket raised to the power of x equals to 32 raised to the power of x minus 1. This is the equation that involves index numbers that we have to solve this very equation that is to find the value of x. So let's attempt to answer this very question to get a solution to the problem copying the given index equation to multiply it by 1 over 8 in the bracket and the that bracket raised to the power of x equals to 32 raised to the power of x minus 1. So what you do first is to change those numbers like 8 and 32 to index number. 8 can be written as 2 raised to 3. Similarly, 32 can be written as 2 raised to the power of 5. So let's do that. So you now have 2. Instead of 1 over 8, you now have 1 over 2 raised to 3. Remember that bracket has a power x, so I copied it. 32, change it to index, gives answer 2 raised to the power of 5. So that 2 raised to the power of 5, which is 32. 32, remember, has a power x minus 1. So 2 raised to the power of 5 in the bracket. The bracket will now have power x minus 1. So we continue. Remember, one of the law of indices says if you have a negative power, is the same thing as 1 over that index number without the negative power. So in this case, this 1 over 2 raised to 3 will now become to 2 raised to the power of minus 3. Let me write it. So you have 2 times instead 1 over 2 raised to 3, you now have 2 raised to minus 3. Then copy that power x outside of the bracket. Then copy your right hand side. So next is to apply law of indices to perform the multiplication here and to perform the expansion of this bracket by multiplying the powers. So this 2 is 2 raised to 1. And 2 raised to minus 3 outside of the bracket raised to the power of x means x times this power minus 3. So in the end of this left hand side, you now have 2 raised to the power of minus 3x plus 1. Minus 3x is a result of expanding this, that is minus 3 times, that is what gives minus 3x. And multiplying by this in 2 raised to the power of 1 is what gives addition of 1 because the bases are the same. So I've moved to the right hand side. This bracket 2 raised to 5 outside the bracket raised to the power of x minus 1 means you now multiply the two powers. You now have... 2 raised to the power of 5 times x is 5x, 5 times minus 1 gives minus 5. So we now reduced our index equation into just uh, two index numbers, one by the left, the other one by the right, and both the two index numbers are basis 2, which means the powers must be equal. So this implies that the power of the index number by the left, which is minus 3x plus 1, must be equal to the power of index number by the right, which is 5x minus 5, provided the two index numbers are equal. And they have the same base, definitely, the powers must be equal. So we'll now collect like terms and solve this very equation. So collected like terms, you now have 6 minus 5 shifted to the left becomes addition. So 1 plus 5, that gives answer 6. And the minus 3x shifted to the right becomes plus. So 5x plus 3x is what gives you this 8x. So to get x, you divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 8. So you now have x to be equals to 6 over 8. And reducing this very fraction, 6 over 8 to simplest form, you now have 3 over 4. So the value of x will now be 3 over 4. And this answer the question. So let me just share with you. Quickly, the mark distribution for this very question as it is contained in the official marking scheme. So the very first mark is method one mark, and this method one mark, you have it when you now express 8 and 32 in index form correctly, you have this method one mark. Next mark is for equating the powers after arriving at these two index numbers. Equating their powers gives you this method one mark. And solving this equation after this level where you divide both sides by the coefficient of x, you have this method one mark. And when you now have the value of x exactly as 3 over 4, 
you have this accuracy one mark. So in total, this question number three be answer for good marks.